never in the field of human conflict. But I'd struggle home with my aircraft middle with bullets and the undercarriage shot away. Uh, he was always an Irishman and uh, that's why he had the shamrock on the aeroplane. Without doubt, an, an absolute hero. This story begins here in Dublin at the General Post Office, scene of the 1916 Easter Rising and continues through to the Battle of Britain where the son of an Irish rebel became the poster boy of the Royal Air Force. Brendan Paddy Finucane was among the top RAF fighter pilots during the Battle of Britain. His father Andy had been an IRA volunteer and had fought during the Easter Rising of 1916. When the family subsequently moved to England, Brendan signed up for the Royal Air Force. His nephew is a leading QC at the Old Bailey in London. He's named after his uncle and is the family custodian of his story. He was always an Irishman and uh, that's why he had the shamrock on the aeroplane, uh, Queen Salote, and then also why his fitter wore shamrock on the back of his, uh, of his own overalls. But he did regard the fact that if the Nazis invaded England, it would not be long before they ended up probably invading Ireland, and he was opposed to Nazism in all its forms. To mark the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, the RAF's been working on a special aerial display involving one of the iconic aircraft from 1940 and its present-day equivalent. That's something you don't see every day, a Spitfire and a Typhoon. A few feet apart in flight, but 75 years apart historically. Clearly it's, it's a great thing to, to be able to do, but it's just such a privilege to be doing it in this, this 75th Battle of Britain celebratory year. You know, it's a, it's a big event for us. That Irishman, Paddy Finucane, does his name still resonate through uh, the, the, the RAF and those involved in Fighter Command? Yeah, definitely. Obviously a natural fighter pilot and a leader. And, you know, he was a uh, you know, Battle of Britain pilot, 26 kills. I mean, just amazing and uh, without doubt an, an absolute hero. While Paddy Finucane featured regularly in the press in Britain, Australia, Canada and even the Irish-American newspapers, at home in neutral Ireland, his story wasn't told. During the war there was heavy censorship and a lot of Irish people would not have known what was actually going on. But literally uh, Finucane in the UK, Australia and in America as well would have reached heroic status with interviews, photographs and so on. He would have been a poster boy as such for fighter command, but he didn't want it. I think my uncle was a combination of being a true Irishman, but also realising he was fighting for the Royal Air Force and for, for Britain. Uh, also, I suppose that since he was awarded some of the highest honours for gallantry by the King, um, I, suppose, I suppose he did realise that he was fighting for the Crown as well. I've been blessed with a pair of good eyes and have learned to shoot straight. I've not been shot down, touch wood, and I've only been once badly shot up. I hope that doesn't sound too Irish. He survived the Battle of Britain, but Wing Commander Paddy Finucane was shot down over the English Channel by what's been described as a million to one shot from a German coastal defence. His body was never recovered. Mervyn Jess, BBC Newsline.